Hello, this is Ujwal Gandhi from SpatialThoughts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with multiple data layers in MapShaper. We'll start with the shapefile of continents, then we'll import another CSV file containing all the major earthquakes. This CSV file contains two columns of latitude and longitude with the location of the earthquake. We'll see how to turn this into a points layer in MapShaper. We'll then apply some spatial and attribute filters. We'll select all earthquakes that happen over a certain continent. And then we'll apply some attribute filters as uh, select all the points that are having magnitude greater than six or so. So let's see how to do this in MapShaper with just a few commands. So here we are in MapShaper. You can just access this by going to mapshaper.org. To import data to MapShaper, you simply drag and drop it into it. Uh, here in the data package, which is linked from the video description, we have two data layers. One is the shapefile of the continents, and we have another CSV file containing the database of all the known major earthquakes. This is a fairly large CSV with about 6,000 rows. Each row has information about the earthquake name, the location name, the magnitude, and the latitude and longitude of that particular earthquake. So we'll select everything and drag and drop it into MapShaper. We get this information that the fields in the CSV files were recognized. So that's good. And we can just close this. When you have multiple data layers in MapShaper, you can access them by going to this drop down menu. We have this continent layer. Let me just click on it. And it shows this uh, view of the map, which is the all the continents. This being a spatial layer, we get a preview of all the uh, shapes that are present in the data. We can use this inspect feature and uh, hover over each feature to see the value. You can see each polygon has the one attribute called continent with the value of that. If I switch to the earthquakes layer, uh, this is a non-spatial layer. And I love how MapShaper allows you to browse through the tabular data by showing this little boxes. You can hover over each record and you can see all the different attributes that it has. Since our tabular data is has uh, spatial information in the latitude and longitude column, we can turn this into a points layer. Let's see how to do this. First, I'm going to rename this layer. I can simply uh, uh, click on the layer name and just name it as earthquakes. Just easier to navigate and use the layer. Next, I'm going to open the console and type the commands. The way MapShaper works is that the command you type will run on the currently selected layer. I'm going to type this command called points. Uh, this command takes tabular data and turn this uh, into point data by recognizing some commonly used column names. So if your data set has names like lat, lawn, it'll automatically get recognized and it'll be turned into a map data. If we have column names which are different, you can just specify that as arguments. But let's just type points. And you can see my tabular data has been now turned into a points layer. If I can turn on the other layer as well, you can see it sits nicely on top of each other because they are in the same CRS and we have converted our tabular data into a spatial data layer. Next, I want to uh, select all earthquakes that are over a certain continent. So first we'll select, let's say South America. So I'm going to select the continent layer and we'll filter it to only the South American continent. So let's apply a filter to select the continent of South America. We'll say filter and we'll like to write an expression that evaluates to true and false. So we'll say this one should be South. Done. So we have now selected this one polygon of South America. Let's turn on the earthquakes layer. So we have earthquakes all over. Now we can say, I want to clip my earthquakes layer to the boundary of the selected polygon. So I can just run the clip command and we give the target layer name. So we'll say this one will be the continents. So now we have clipped all our earthquake layer to the boundary of a particular continent. As I hover over it, you can see there are a lot of different attributes. Maybe we don't need all the attributes. So to filter to a specific set of attributes, we need to use the filter fields command. Now let's see the help for that. You can say filter fields and give the list of fields, comma, separated list of fields that we want to retain. We'll retain the year, month, and day of the earthquake. We'll also retain the magnitude and the location name. So we'll say 
let me just keep this you can uh, click on a particular point to keep this window open so that we can just look at what attributes we want to keep let's say i want a year month day mag and location name So you can see now my other uh, fields have been deleted and we just have this fields. There's also a command to rename fields. So let's look at the help for rename fields. This allows us to rename certain fields that we want. So let's run this. We'll say rename fields. And the way you specified is uh, comma separated key value pairs. And the pairs are flipped. So the, the target name should go first. So let's say we want to rename month as mo to month so it has to be flipped we'll say a day should be where there is dy the mag should be magnitude so i'll say and we'll say uh, location name should become location let's see if this works okay so you can see i've renamed all my fields the way that i want it Lastly, I want to show how we can apply another filter to select only the earthquakes having a magnitude higher than a certain amount. This can also be done using the filter command with an expression. We'll say filter magnitude greater than, let's say, six. And now we have selected all significant earthquakes having greater than six magnitude over the continent of South America. And we have also made our data much more tidier by redeeming certain fields. And the final step is just to download this data. We can click export and download it in any format that we want. Let us uh, save it as uh, GeoJSON. We can choose to select uh, which layer we want to export. Uh, I don't need the continents layer. We'll just export the earthquake layer as a GeoJSON file. Thank you, and stay tuned for more MapShaper videos.